Hi, today I want to share my experience growing up as a deaf person. So it was really interesting, but I don't want people to think it's been easy. So I want to share with everyone what it's like to be deaf. Education, for example, and the knowledge of the hearing community. Now I don't want to share everyone's experience, but I do want to share my experience. My philosophies, my friends who are hearing, uh, who are working, I want them to understand and to face this new perspective. I want everyone to better understand what it's like. I want, some of you already may know this stuff, and I have adopted family, and I've enjoyed that. But I just felt like something has been missing. Like that connection with my family has been a little bit missing. And the reason I say that it's impossible. And that's why I want to share my reason. My, hold on. It's really annoying. So in my house, in my family, they don't really know what my deaf means. It's not their responsibility. I'm not angry at them. But I kind of wish that they knew about my struggles, the things that I went through. For example, if we have all these family members sitting around watching a movie, there's no captions, and it's hard for me to understand. So I don't really know what the movie's talking about. I'm trying to read their lips. I'm, it's so challenging. I ask them to turn up the volume and to change it, but I, I just, I don't have any way of hearing it. I have no hearing aids. I'm trying to watch it and see what's going on. Trying to understand the emotions and what's what the dialogue is. So later in life, I finally got hearing aids, but I still have a hard time understanding. I'm always the last person to understand what's going on. And you know what they say? They say, put your hearing aids on. That was always in the back of my mind. Oh wow, that made me really understand that it's impossible for me to go outside in the world and for people to understand. This is my family over here. They don't like having to explain everything and to repeat things. I always felt like something was missing. It's it's painful. It's hard. So when I was in middle school, and I was on my way to high school, the kids were all grouping together, waiting for the bus. And so my bus arrives, and I'm all ready to go in. And then I remembered, shit, I forgot my backpack, I need to go, I need to go and grab it, and I ran as fast as I could to go get it, and I heard something, and I was curious of what was going on,
some of my friends saw that I play basketball during class, during gym class, so they told the coach. You could tell he was impressed. I said, I don't know. I don't know what was what are the requirements. I don't know what's going on. It's impossible for me to run this way. Uh, he called on me to go to the dorm. He gave me a form to have my parents sign. Um, so I had them fill it out. It was all good. So I was running around, and then coach said, you know, it's my fault. You need to take your things. You need to grab your backpack and go home. So I did that. I gave my parents the form. I thought it was a good idea. Because I like basketball. They signed it. I gave it, I gave it to them. But how was I going to ride the bus there? I didn't know how I was going to be transported. What about maybe the bus can? And we started worrying and trying to discuss how that was going to happen. And it was just impossible to get that grade. I figured maybe I could just stay, at, stay in the dorm and I could be on the team and... And I could worry about both sides, my parents I wouldn't have to worry about, and the dorm helped me. I was excited. Time I could play basketball finally. So I was finished, I was running around, I was so excited, I can't wait to do this. So I go inside the dorm, and then there's the first thing I notice. It has subtitles. Oh my gosh, the feeling. I just, all of my stuff that I had in my hands, I dropped, and I just sat down and I was watching. Just overwhelmed. And I just got overwhelmed with all these feelings, the vocabulary, the things I was finally understanding. I felt connected. The staff, they thought I was crazy. Because at home, they don't understand that I don't have that. It has language. Do you see the subtitles? So I asked, what is that? And there was something on the, on the ceiling. It was a light. My staff, staff helped me. They helped me to sign. I, my jaw just dropped. It was crazy. They understood me. I finally felt like that's where I was connected. That's where I belonged. This was my culture, my world. So every week I could go there on Fridays. So I knew that. I knew the dorm. The dorm was just perfect for me. So I went home. And I was trying to explain the subtitles. They didn't know what I was saying. And, and I tried to tell them that I wanted the subtitles. They said it was impossible. They couldn't do that. That I had to wait before I go back to in school to enjoy my life and to enjoy. I just wanted to go back there where I could feel like 
nothing was missing. My sister, so it was her turn. She had a problem. She doesn't know what she wants. She gave things to someone. So she got, so we arrived home on Friday and I was passing her room and I go into my room and I see she has something in her room. And I was like, what is that? And I was curious. Everything was included and everything was fine. And it had captions. See, she has, do you see what I'm talking about? She has that. Can we switch TVs? And my mom said no. They're the same. So you know what I did? Everyone was sleeping. I snuck around and switched the TVs without getting caught. Okay, I'm reading the subtitles. That is not good. They're right there. How do I make them turn off?